Well, this is day number three of me being sick. I caught a little cold and I have just been stuck in my van for the last three days. I'm going a little stir crazy. A uh, good thing is the cold wasn't that bad, but I just have not felt good enough to get outside because it is chilly and wet and rainy out. Uh, you might be able to hear a little pitter patter of rain. You can probably also hear lots of traffic. I'm parked on a really busy street here in a busy city. So I uh, got a little, little nice sound of some rain and some annoying traffic sounds. So the good news is I finally have a bit of an appetite back. So I'm gonna make up a little bit of dinner. And uh, if you'd like, you can join me. Uh, well, not for dinner, of course, but you can watch me make some dinner and listen to some rain and some traffic. Uh, hopefully that'll start dying down now that it's, uh, well, it's well past dark. So I don't know why there's so much traffic out there, but uh, I'm ready for dinner. So let's, let's get, let's get the stove fired up. So luckily, right before I got sick, I uh, had gone and did some grocery shopping. So have plenty of food still here available to eat, uh, although I was a little bit worried about this ground beef that I bought uh, because uh, it's been sitting in the fridge all this time. It smells fine. Uh, I keep my fridge right about freezing and I keep uh, meat and cheese down at the bottom of the fridge, which is the coldest area for it. So uh, it means that stuff lasts quite a bit longer than it would if I kept it up at about 40 degrees, which is usually more a proper temperature uh, for a fridge. But I just like it to be kept a little bit colder. Uh, and that way I just have a little better food storage uh, for long term. It means that in cases like this, well, I mean, normally you don't think about getting sick and having to deal with that. But usually I'm thinking about cases of not being able to get to a store or at least a store that I like to shop at and having to kind of stretch out what I have on hand. And so that's kind of why I keep my fridge so cold. Uh, but in this case, it worked out because uh, I just wasn't able to really eat anything. So uh, I'm glad that I have it set that way just so I get a little more, uh, <laughs> just a little more out of my money with, uh, with this. All right, I just put a little salt down in my pan. This is a enamel on cast iron pan. Really like this little thing. Got this a while back and uh, it has really been a fantastic addition to the van here. It's small, so it's not great for everything, but it works really good for something like this. Uh, I'm gonna make a little bit of, turn that on first. Okay, I'm going to make a little bit of, um, I'm going to call this chili. And uh, I have kind of a chili type recipe that I make and I, I usually season it up really good and all. But today, because my throat's still a little uh, funny and I'm not really sure since this is the first meal I've had in three days, um, should probably not make it a, uh, a very spicy chili. So. This will just be kind of chilly in name only. So I'm just going to take a few minutes and get this meat browned up really well. Probably uh, about a quarter of a pound of uh, 8515 uh, good local beef. So brown that up really nicely. And then I will add to this some beans. I have some canned beans, which I'll drain off here. And I'm at a, about a half a can of crushed tomato. Uh, these are fire roasted crushed tomatoes, which I really like. And I think I'm going to make this a little more soupy. So I'm going to add some vegetable broth into this as well. Okay, that meat looks like it's good. It's got some nice color on it. It's not totally cooked through, but that's okay because we're gonna cook up the uh, beans and the tomato along uh, with everything. So I'll toss the, toss the beans in here now. Uh, I've got to open up the tomato and 
thinking about some seasoning. I'm not quite sure. I was thinking I might want to put some chili powder in this and actually make it a real chili, but it's probably not a good idea. Um, who knows how my tummy is feeling. Uh, so uh, I think I'll just make this more of a soup kind of thing today. I do have a bunch of soup mix that I could have made up, but I decided to uh, not do that because I'm really hungry. Uh, and it kind of hit me all of a sudden that I'm hungry today. Wasn't hungry at all yesterday. Certainly wasn't hungry the day before, which was the worst day of my being sick. So I figured this would be the quickest way to just get some food going. And it should be tasty. It's all it's all good tasty stuff. Really good tasty chill or really good tasty beef, really good uh, really good beans. These are heirloom beans and uh, fire roasted tomato. That's all good. And then I am going to use some of this vegetable broth here and just uh, just thin this out a little bit, make it more soupy like because that's what you're supposed to eat when you're sick, right? Although I think I'm I think I'm over the most of the sickness part. You can probably still hear a little bit in my voice. Not totally over it, but um, but I'm pretty much over it. And I better be getting over it pretty soon because if I uh, if I have to go shopping in the next few days, uh, yeah, I don't want to go in when I'm sick. I do have food I could eat other than uh, you know just uh, the few things like this. But it would be like oatmeal and rice. Those are things I don't usually eat quite so often. I try to keep those for emergency use only. So uh, rather rather not have to uh, get into those. So I'm hoping that I can be over the sickness for several reasons. And one of those is so I can go grocery shopping soon. I actually really like going grocery shopping. Regular shopping is not really a thing I enjoy, but grocery shopping is one of my little joys, uh, especially if I can go to a little co-op, a food co-op, or a natural food store uh, and just see all the new things that they have that I might not see in uh, another store somewhere. Uh, because especially natural food stores and co-ops, they have stuff that you just don't see at a regular grocery store. So I really enjoy doing that. All right, let me uh, find a container for this tomato. Um, I thought this might be a little too tomato-y if I put the whole can in, so that's why I opted to just put half the can in, except I didn't. I put three quarters of the can in. Oh, well. Uh, I'll save this for later. Um, this is great stuff to use just as is if you want to make like a little cheap pizza. If you've, if you've got, say, some bread lying around, you can uh, use a little bit of this. Uh, as a pizza topping. Uh, it's really, really tasty, especially this fire roasted stuff. Um, this brand's fantastic. I don't buy it very often, but whenever I do, then I, I remember how much I like it and then I buy it for a while. It's one of the more pricey brands, but it's actually absolutely worth the price of it because it's just really better quality tomatoes than any, anybody else, it seems. Plus the fire roasted one, seems to be the better one. Um, I've tried their regular tomatoes that are not fire roasted, but the fire roasted ones are my favorite and just seem like they're better than anything else. Okay, this has been simmering away here for a few minutes. I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, basil into that. I was trying to crush that up before I tossed it in. That didn't happen. Oh well. Um, this is a uh, just a little bit of uh, spicely basil. I like this brand. You can find it. We'll stir this up in here and leave this for uh, another couple of minutes to kind of infuse. And then I can eat something. Probably not going to eat all of this, but uh, I am pretty hungry, so we'll see. Oh, you notice this? There's a story here. So I've been using this little candle lighter, which is an electronic candle lighter, and I've really liked it. But uh, it was starting to give me some trouble. It kind of fell apart, and I taped it back together again. You can see some, uh, some tape on the end here. And I've been kind of just keeping it as a backup lighter. 
because I found a new one. Uh, this one here at a TJ Maxx store and I thought this one was much better quality and I was really happy with it. Uh, it seemed to hold a charge a lot longer uh, than this old one uh, and it just seemed to work better uh, except that it just stopped working the other day and I don't think it has anything to do with the quality of this. I think I probably destroyed this because I made up a new little spot to hang this. It has this little hang loop on it, kind of like the old one does. Um, but I, I figured I would hang it up in a place that was easy for me to reach from bed because a lot of times if it's going to be chilly out, we're getting into fall and winter time now here, um, I'll set up my, uh, my kettle on my stove and have, have it filled with water, enough water for a cup of coffee. So what I'll do in the morning, if it's really cold and I haven't been running my heater at night, I'll just reach out, grab a lighter and light up my stove and that'll get the kettle warming up, heating up the water, and then it'll also heat up the space a little bit. And then I'll get out from under my covers. I've got this really big, I don't know if you can see that here. This is a, this is a big um, down comforter I bought from Ikea years ago and I just absolutely love it. Uh, so if I'm under it, I don't really notice if it's cold outside, especially if I'm wearing a toque like I am now. Uh, I just don't notice it's, it's cold outside. But uh, once it starts to be fall, this is something that I do. I just set up my kettle at night and just to make sure that I don't have to get up and kind of move around in the cold. I have all this stuff with an easy reach. Well, when I put this in easy reach, it meant putting it out farther toward the door and I, I leave this side door open often, uh, very, very often. Um, and it's been more rainy lately. We're, we're into the fall. It's, it's starting to rain much more. And I think it just got too wet. Uh, I did notice one day it was quite soaked wet and I, I think it just ruined it, unfortunately. So glad I have the backup. I'm not quite sure what to do with this. I've been hanging on to it, hoping that it would dry out and miraculously start to work again. Let's try it. See, it's got plenty of battery. Uh, yeah, nothing. <laughs> oh well, it was it was good while it lasted. Glad I kept the other one, the original. Okay, I think my dinner is ready. Give this a try here. It's probably going to be a little hot. Yeah, at this point I'm wishing I put some uh, chili powder in it and actually made this a regular chili instead of this kind of soup thing. It's a little bland. <laughs> the basil adds a nice little bit there. Good thing I have that on hand. Oh well. Uh, I guess it could be worse for uh, the first meal in three days, couldn't it? Well, this is a little bit too hot to eat and enjoy, so I'm going to let that cool down for a moment. This might be a good time just to talk about being sick in a van. A lot of people tell me, oh, it must be terrible if you're sick in a van, uh, thinking that I should be in a uh, more proper, you know, quote unquote, proper space. Uh, over the years, I've, I've been sick plenty of times uh, in my van, been sick plenty of times when I had a house. Uh, and I have to say, the van is definitely easier uh, for most things. One thing maybe that might help a little bit but as far as the van goes I really like the fact that everything is close by I don't have to reach for anything I don't have to get up and walk down the hall to get to my toilet uh, my toilet sits right under the bed here so I keep it really uh, easy to access uh, on this side because this little area here is the biggest space I've got I know it doesn't look very big uh, from your vantage point there, but this is the biggest space I've got in the van. So 
The toilet's really easy to get out and use uh, right here, which means I just pivot out of bed and it's there. Uh, I slide down, the sink is here. Everything is really easy. I actually made a couple of cups of tea the other day. Uh, I know, I know, I don't normally drink tea, but you know, when you're sick, you uh, gotta do what you gotta do. So I had some tea with some honey and um, it was really nice. I sat up, this was back when I wasn't feeling good at all. I, I sat up, got the kettle on, and then I just immediately laid back down. And I'm not far from watching the kettle. I could, I could uh, maneuver the, the stove quite easily right from bed. So um, all of those things really make it much easier to be sick if you're in a van. You just don't have to move anywhere. You don't have to do anything fancy. Um, so I do really like that. And uh, that's, that's the one big advantage. I guess the, the one misadvantage about van life is maybe not having a, uh, a shower. There's times where it would be nice to jump in a shower, or take a scalding hot shower. Uh, and if I don't have that, you know, uh, available, uh, you know, that, that kind of makes the sickness a little bit worse. Um, so that's the one thing I don't kind of have, but uh, other than that, everything is really much easier in a van. So uh, you really shouldn't feel sorry for me at all in this situation. Now, has this cooled down enough? Because I'm, I'm still really hungry. <laughs> well, I really thought I was gonna eat this whole thing. And I was working away here until I got down to this much and I cannot eat another bite. So I guess I'll uh, put this away, get this in the fridge. So I have a few of these little uh, silicon containers here. I think these are made for backpacking. Uh, the body of them is silicone, and then they have a little nylon uh, ring and lid that uh, makes a really good seal. Uh, there is a little uh, O-ring type thing on the lid as well, so uh, I guess that helps make the seal. They're they are fairly waterproof, I think. You can fill them right up with even just plain water. And as long as you got them uh, tightened up well, uh, they don't leak at all. So I really like these. Uh, they're from a company called Sea to Summits. And I believe that they're mainly sold for backpackers and hikers. Uh, I happened to pick them up at a discount store a few years back and I found them to be really useful. Uh, for one, they take up very little space when they aren't uh, out and in their uh, cup mode because they just flatten right down to to nothing there. And then uh, also, if you've only got a little bit of food to put in them, you don't have to open them up all the way. So they, they can kind of collapse down a little bit to save space in the fridge. Uh, so they're, they've been really good. And uh, it's really good quality silicone, so they always clean up really well, too. Yeah, as you see here, I didn't really need the full size of this container, so I've got it squashed down to save a little space, because my fridge is a little on the full side at the moment. Not really, but sort of full at the moment. Now, my freezer is not so full, but we will talk about that soon. Not today, though. And time to do up these dishes. My pump has been driving me crazy. And there's a, there's a, not an easy fix to it. Uh, there's nothing actually wrong with the pump. It's just that I put in a new jug a while back uh, and I rerouted the pickup tube uh, in, in it, and so versus my last jug. My last jug I had the pickup tube on one side uh, opposite the fill side, but now I, I have it so that the pickup tube is in the fill side of the jug, and that means whenever I go to fill the jug back up full of water, when I pull the pickup tube out, uh, the pump loses its prime, and then it's really noisy until it primes itself again. And it does it so often that it's really driving me nuts and I'm gonna have to do something about it. Uh, but that does involve pulling the jug out, drilling a hole and relocating that pickup tube. So I've been putting it off because 
Well, some of you might know this if you know me. I really don't enjoy working on my van. So I usually put things off for quite a while, but the noise of this is so bad that I'm really getting to the point where that's gonna have to happen at some point soon, very soon. Okay, I'm getting the kettle on. This is not for coffee. Uh, when I'm sick, I have no desire to drink coffee at all. So I do what everybody else does, is I drink tea. Yes, believe it or not, I'm gonna drink some tea. Now this is uh, some black tea. It's a uh, chai spiced tea. So it's got some, um, well, it's, it's lots of things that I think are good for when you're being sick. Uh, cinnamon, ginger, anise, cardamom. Those are all good things, I think, when you're sick. So I guess this is my, this is my sick tea. I, uh, I actually like chai spice tea occasionally, but unfortunately, in my mind, tea equals being sick. And so I only ever really drink tea when I'm sick. That's it. Uh, if I try to drink a cup of tea when I'm not sick, it just triggers something in my brain to tell me there's something wrong and, and you, you shouldn't, be, shouldn't be drinking this. <laughs> so got my little canister of tea that I have stuck up here on the shelf that never goes anywhere and I hardly ever get into it. I guess that's a good thing though, right? I hardly ever get into my tea. I hardly ever have to drink it. It means I'm not sick all that often, I think. So I have some honey for my tea because that's another one of those things you got to do when you're sick, right? Honey is supposed to be great for this, this kind of thing. Um, so this is some honey from my favorite place in the whole world, from Mendocino. Uh, it's uh, orange blossom honey, which to me is the best honey because I'm from Southern California where we have lots of citrus trees. And so orange blossom honey was kind of the the local thing down there. So uh, this company sells a bunch of different kinds of honey sourced from a bunch of different uh, trees and things. They had wild flower honey and all, all that too, but um, I picked the orange blossom honey because it's what reminds me of uh, childhood, even though <laughs> honey is one of those things that uh, is like tea where it elicits this uh, bad reaction in my brain because it's saying if you're eating honey that means you're sick but i am sick today so honey in my tea this is what we're doing today <laughs> i want to like this i really do but i really would like a coffee instead this will have to do today. I'm hoping that tomorrow I'll feel much better and be back to coffee then, because I'm tired of tea already after three cups of tea in three days. <laughs> Coffee's really my thing, not tea. Oh, the forecast is saying the rain was gonna be pretty much all night and into tomorrow. I think most of tomorrow too is supposed to be rainy. So lots of rain here, uh, but I am in the Pacific Northwest. I've been, uh, been talking all year about how I don't want to uh, leave the Pacific Northwest. So this is what I have, uh, I've got rain. And normally I, I really enjoy the rain. Uh, the only thing is I've been just stuck inside here the last three days. And so I'm, I'm really getting to be a little stir crazy. I, I don't mind being out in the rain. Uh, I've got my rain jacket out and uh, and been using it uh, on the rainier days. Um, it needed a little repair, which I did. 
uh, to it a few months back and it's been great ever since. I thought I was going to have to buy a new one. It's been just fine. Uh, so happy about that. Uh, but uh, even if it is raining out, I would really like to be out walking around, moving around a little bit. Um, I, I tend to feel much better when it's uh, when, when I can get out in the sun. Uh, even if it's cloudy sun, I still feel a lot better. And I don't know if it's a combination of the sun and moving around. It probably probably is, uh, but I just seem to feel much better if I'm moving around outside. Uh, you know, the the whole point of this van was to get a van that would be comfortable to do everything that I needed to do like sleep comfortably which this certainly does uh, i can make myself dinner and normally coffee not today uh, but uh, you know it does all those things great but the idea is have a small van because i want to be outside as much as possible uh, but when i'm sick of course i can't really be outside so just been stuck in here and one thing's for sure i better feel much better tomorrow because I need to move around a little bit. Uh, not that I'm going to get any sun tomorrow, but I need to move around a little bit. I, uh, I am tired of just sitting. Uh, really all I've done is sleep the last three days. Uh, and today I slept a little bit less than I did the last two days, but, um, I, all I've really been feeling like doing is sleeping. So I'm, I am tired of sleeping. That sounds strange, doesn't it? I, but I am very tired of sleeping. I, I, I think I've had enough sleep. I need to be up and moving around again. I sure hope anyway I can get back to it tomorrow. This really isn't that bad. I mean, I, I prefer a cup of coffee, but this really isn't that bad. <laughs> well, with all this talking I've been doing, I think I'm running out of voice. It's going to be a little bit harder to speak as the uh, time rolls on here. So I think I'm going to have to cut this short and uh, I'll uh, finish my tea and unfortunately go to bed. Uh, normally I really enjoy sleeping, but not, not looking forward to going to bed tonight uh, since that's all I've been doing. But uh, anyway, maybe the tea will help my throat and uh, I am... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that tomorrow I'm going to feel much better and be out and about. We'll see. But uh, that does it for me today. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.